Police say last night's violence started when a pro-Trump caravan of hundreds of vehicles arrived in Portland just as a counter-protest was getting underway. Police say some fights broke out between the two groups throughout the evening. They say shots were fired about 15 minutes after that Trump caravan had left the downtown area. The victim has not yet been publicly identified, and the shooter, as far as we know, remains at large. The uh, mayor of Portland, Ted Wheeler, who also serves as that city's police commissioner, is set to speak at the top of the 4 p.m. Eastern or 1 p.m. Pacific time hour. That's just under 60 minutes from now. We will, of course, bring that to you live as it happens. But first, let's go to Christina Coleman, who's live in Los Angeles, with more details on the tragic and shocking turn on the streets of Portland last night. Christina? Eric, this is the third consecutive weekend of tension escalating between competing groups of protesters in Portland. A caravan of Trump supporters with about 600 vehicles was making its way through downtown Portland when protesters attempted to stop them by standing in the street. Some Trump protesters fired paintball pellets and bear spray at counter protesters, and they threw things at the Trump supporters. The shooting happened after most of the caravanners left the downtown area. Police haven't released details on the victim or said if the gunfire was directly related to the protest. But an Associated Press freelance photographer says the victim appeared to be a white man wearing a hat bearing the insignia of Patriot Prayer, a right-wing group that has frequently demonstrated in Portland and has drawn counter protests. This morning, President Trump appeared to excuse or defend the provocative behavior of his supporters while again slamming Portland Mayor Ted Willer, tweeting, quote, the big backlash going on in Portland cannot be unexpected after 95 days and of watching an incompetent mayor admit that he has no idea what he is doing. The people of Portland won't put up with no safety any longer. The mayor is a fool. Bring in the National Guard. Not they have failed so. to, to protect their communities, specifically in Portland. And we've seen that. We have over 74, over 90 arrests, 74 uh, different criminal uh, citations that the FBI is pursuing against individuals. We need Portland to step up, bring this violence to a close, and I think you'll see a lot of this go away. Mayor Wheeler has declined repeated offers to send federal law enforcement to the city of Portland, saying Portland doesn't need Trump's, quote, politics of division and denigration. Democrats accusing President Trump of fanning the flames. You saw a parade of Trump supporters actually actively shooting paintballs at peaceful protesters. And the president, in my opinion, encourages that. He actually retweeted the people firing paint guns. So I think he only means to agitate things. Also, there were still some protests and sporadic fighting and vandalism in downtown Portland after last night's shooting. At least 10 people were arrested, mostly for disorderly conduct. Arthel?